all right guys and welcome to season three of modded minecraft i am doing a brand new modded series for 2023 and i have a really awesome pack put together for you guys with 160 mods so uh this is a pack that i just put together myself it is based off my previous 1.16.5 pack and also my 1.12.2 pack if you guys have watched any of those videos so there's lots of quality of life mods. There's nothing too techy in here. It's all just adventuring and building and storage mainly. And uh, I think we're gonna have a good time with it. So we're gonna go ahead and start in this world and just see where we can get with this. Looks like we already found some berries. So that's pretty epic. And we're gonna go ahead and get us some logs. And hopefully everybody had a great new year and that we continue to have a great new year in 2023. I know I sure did. Alright, so I have this music mod. <laughs> and I'm just going to preface this video with this. This music might put some of you guys to sleep because it tends to be very calming and relaxing. So... It is the regular Minecraft music, but it's like modded to slow down and stuff. So sometimes you'll have like super high pitched music and fast. And then other times you'll have like super slow and like really like calm mood setting music. You could almost say it could be depressing at times actually. And it might help fit with the mood of some of the things that happen within the playthrough. That's what I'm hoping for anyway. I'm hoping that the music changes at the right moment, for the right moment, and for the right reasons. So we'll have to just see how this works out. Oh, look at that. We've already dug ourselves into a cave. We've got no food. We've got no shelter. But we have a cave. So I think what we should do is try to grab a little bit more stone. Just so we can make ourselves a furnace. I think that'll be nice. Then if we do find some food and some iron, we can just go ahead and cook that up and get it going. And we don't have to worry too much about uh, scrounging around for materials. So I think first things first is we should probably try to get a bed. So I think I'm going to scout around and try to find some sheep. Or we might find some of those trees, the uh, spiderweb trees with the cobwebs on them. Those are always useful as well. Uh, also, let me do this real quick. We're going to make a beacon for spawn. Just so we know where we spawned in at. Let's grab us up some spruce wood. That's always nice to have. I can't get up here. Cool. Looks like there are some cows in the distance. Oh, there's already a skeleton here. Ouch. Okay, I gotta get out of here. This dude's gonna wreck me. Did he follow me out here? Oh yeah, he did. He's getting wrecked on a berry bush. And so am I. Okay, well, we got him. We're probably going to die, but we got him. Let's eat real quick and replenish our health. That was a little crazy. These berry bushes are dangerous over here. Alright, so anyway, like I was saying, it looks like we found some cows. I don't... Wait, I see sheep. I see sheep on the mini-map. So we can run over this way. Grab us some sheep. Also, we're going to be on the lookout for cornflowers, or I think the other one are azalea, I want to say. Those both make blue dye. So we're going to be looking for blue dye so we can make blueprints later. Oh, there's some red berries as well. May as well get a little bit of both. We can have a nice little berry farm here. Why not? I don't see those sheep anywhere though. Are they under the ground? 
Okay, well, anyway, there's some over here. And we're gonna grab a few of these pumpkins. Because why not? Can make us a nice little farm. Oh, well, there are tons. This is like a. Oh, this is a autumnal valley. So, where are the sheep at? There's no shortage of pumpkins here, that's for sure. Okay, here's us a sheep. Oh, a couple of them, actually. Alright, let's get that one. Oh. You are being difficult. I don't think we can mix bed colors, though. We might be able to with the sleeping bag. I'm going to have to try that and see. And it looks like it's a no-go. So basically, we're going to need light gray wool. Or we're going to need to find another... Another white sheet, which I think... Fluffy seeds... I think we can find light gray pretty easy. What about these? That turns into light blue. We don't really want that. I don't think you can dye something that's already a color. Oh, we can. Well, that fixes everything. That fixes everything. Because that means we can just make a light blue sleeping bag. Okay, so we are on our way to having a bed, and all we got to do is this, and boom. Now we've got ourselves a sleeping bag. Cool. Alright, so now next we need some food. We have a little bit of food. Uh, we're probably just going to need to scout out a plot to actually live on. And I'm thinking the edge of this pumpkin patch might be pretty good, honestly. Like, it's by the water. I see sugar cane over here. Looks like we can make a decent living over here. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to grab up this sugar cane. And let's see if there's any more nearby. I don't see any. Okay, so that's fine. We'll just have to work with what we got. And we will... Yeah, I think we'll just work here. So we're going to clean this up a little bit. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to clean this up. And uh, I will be back once it's cleaned up. So I'll see you guys in a minute. Alright, so we're back. And we've got this place flattened out and very cleaned up to pretty much call our own now. It's not perfect, but it's definitely a good starter area. So what we're going to do now is we're going to work on gathering some wood. And we're going to try to build us a house. As you can see, I have started a sugarcane farm. And I am working on expanding that. Because we're going to want to be able to make a lot of paper later. So, I'm just go ahead and get that started now. And I think what I want to do is start a small berry farm too. So, what we're going to do is we're going to make some rows of berries. Uh, let's do like 10. And I don't have enough to do that, but uh, we're going to start some blue ones over on this side. And then that's going to be our food source for the time being. And once we get some, some red ones growing, we'll finish this little layer here. And what we're also going to want to do is we're going to want to make us some charcoal. Because we're definitely going to need... Um, some we're gonna need to make a campfire I don't want to waste all of my coal making food at the moment that way if I find some iron which I believe there is some iron I filled in like a cave thing under here but we can still access it from over here I believe I think it goes underneath and I didn't block in the iron so yeah there's some iron right there as you can see so we're going to go after that also in a couple of minutes. These are just things I don't want to really forget. Okay. So that's our berry farm. I think we can 
expand this a bit more. And that should give us plenty of food. I think that'll be more than enough food for just us. So yeah, let's go ahead and get some stuff put in our chest over here. And then we're going to make us a campfire, cook us up some food. And then once we get a sustainable amount of food from the, uh, the berries, we're going to make ourselves a juicer. And the juicer is going to help us tremendously with uh, saturation. As you can see, I've got several stacks of meadow dirt. That was all right here, what you're looking at. There were pumpkins piled on top of it. We've cleared all the pumpkins out. Everything's all cleaned up pretty nicely. I don't think we need cattails for anything, so I'm not going to keep those. A crane egg. So yeah, let's put away our things that we really don't need. Like, we don't need all these pumpkins. Uh, we got one dark oak sapling out of that. Would be nice if we would have been able to get more. But, unfortunately, we didn't. This guy is wearing a hat. I think we're going to take that hat. So we have a few of them just from killing things. As you can see, you can put hats on in this. This is another mod that I carried over from my previous pack. And I really do enjoy the hats mod. So we have logs. And then I think we need, like, what? Okay, let's make ourselves a campfire. And then what we can do... So we can put this campfire down like over this way and then we'll be able to see our base also because of the smoke so that's nice so let's cook us up some food and we will make us a new axe hopefully I think I need to make more sticks yes um we're gonna need more cobblestone I don't think I have any more let me double check I'm pretty sure I used it all on shovels so yeah, we're going to have to get some more of that, and we'll grab some of that when we go grab that iron. And then we'll make us a couple of axes, and then we'll definitely cut us some trees down. So I'm going to go ahead and get some grub here. Get my belly all full. Yeah, that takes a lot, honestly. Now if you guys do notice, I do have the tick speed bumped just a tad. So, uh, I just do that to make the videos a little more smoother. That way I don't have to keep cutting out, like, areas between growth and stuff like that. It kind of all just flows together. So, yeah, we're gonna make a, we're gonna make a nice world out of this. Let me make sure this is on hard mode. It is. So, let's harvest us uh, some berries. And also, if I pick up the red ones, yeah gonna put them in my inventory there and I don't I never recommend harvesting these berries while you got one in your hand because you'll be planting them all over the place in places you don't want them so just a good tip and this is for vanilla too because these red berry bushes are in vanilla once I get like a magnetic tool we won't have to worry about the berries floating around and stuff. Let's go ahead and take a little nappy poo. Alright, so our food, besides the bird meat, is pretty much done. So let's go grab that iron while we've got some more food cooking. I think the bird meat cooks exceptionally fast though. Oh, there's also iron right here. I gotta be careful though not to get too greedy. I don't want to run into these caves just yet, because we're not prepared for that. Oh, some coal. Okay, so there's a nice little bit of resources in here. I believe there's, yeah, there's a lot of iron in here. And as you guys will notice, I've got some mods in here for the sound effects. So like the music, the blocks breaking, and the footprints and everything echo in the caves. So that's pretty cool. I thought it would sound a little more realistic. Just gives you more of like a cave vibe when you're in here mining and breaking blocks. It makes you actually experience being in a cave, especially if you're wearing headphones. So I thought that was a nice touch. And if any of you have ever played RL Craft, uh, these sounds, the sounds are in that. 
like the sword swinging and the block echoes and things like that. So yeah, we're going to go ahead and grab this coal since we're already here. And then what we'll do is we'll make us a few tools. And we'll be able to cut us down some trees once we're ready for that. So we may have to focus on building the shelter in the next episode. Because I'm afraid our time is going to run out soon. I don't want to drag these episodes out too long. And I'm obviously just free flowing with these. So there's no real major plans with some of these episodes. We're just going to kind of flow with it and see where this takes us. This is like creative, just free flow, creative survival, I guess we can call it. We're just going to kind of make things up as we go and do as we gather. And then eventually we'll make some larger scale plans once we get a little more established. But right now we're just trying to survive. There's so much coal. I didn't expect there to be this much coal. So I'm going to break a couple of these gravels also. That way we can get us a flint, which I just did. So that's nice. Now I wonder where that other iron was. I think it was over here. Yes. So we're definitely going to want to grab that. And I think that's all we have. Oh, it is raining outside. Oh, this is weird. Is it raining or is that just like... I think that's flowing water. Okay. So our bird meat should be done. We gotta try to get back over there real quick. Yeah, I think that's just running water. I, I thought that was rain. So now we got ourselves a little bit of food. If I could just pick that up. That would be great. So we'll make about, I don't know. We're gonna need quite a few axes, I believe. Because uh, when you break the trees, they fall down. And it takes all the durability that it would take on your axe originally if you broke those blocks one by one, basically. I think the iron would be good to smelt. We should probably go ahead and get that going. That way we have a little bit of stuff to work with. So, I think that's going to wrap it up for this episode, guys. And hopefully you guys enjoy this series. We're going to do some really awesome stuff on this world. I plan to delve deep into this pack and try to get into the all the good little bits of this pack. Especially with like armor and weapon crafting. So, we will journey on this journey together. And like I said, if you guys are new, always subscribe to the channel. Make sure you don't miss out on any uploads. And comment down below, what's your favorite thing to do in Minecraft? And I will see you guys next time. Thanks so much for watching.